So you have been trying for ages but you still suck at art. One day you see someone who drew even bad than you. Suddenly the next day they decide to be the next Picasso. Even bad when you see a 13 year old can draw much better hands than you. No, I mean what kind of black magic do they use? <clears throat> oh well, don't worry. I don't know what kind of black magic do they use but I have got some solution for you how you can spice up your art or how you can make your art look better and, and you need to do as i say for at least two months let me share with you some tips and these are the tips always use reference practice realism draw details and backgrounds and focus on light and shadows now i will explain you one by one so first of all let's start with always use reference See, I know you have heard this many times but here once from me too cause I never told you. Okay so about reference, find a reference that suits you. Like here I love drawing nature and girls and suits your art style. My art style have good lighting and nature and bright colors and suit your vibe. Uh, when I looked at this reference I felt like drawing it and I can totally see it my vibe. So yeah. Better reference for you from Pinterest, the best place, and Pixie you can find there too. You can also take inspiration from other artists, you know, just collect all of their art and take inspiration from them. And tip number two, practice realism. Guys, guys, hear me out. I know that you like anime art style and want to draw your waifus, but do you want to draw your waifus ugly? Of course not. When what's the point of learning art then? But seriously, I also hate learning realism, but once I did, I actually got so much better in composition and coloring. And not saying you have to learn this type of realism, just learn the basic. Third, draw details and background. Okay, look at this. Isn't it appealing to you? No matter how basic you are, you will always still love a little extra, you know. So if you wanna make your art look good, you gotta try adding extra detail in character draw good backgrounds and maybe don't keep the pose very simple like keep it little dynamic for tip focus on light and shadows so when you draw you should keep in mind that where's the light source and shade accordingly this will also make shading easy for you and lightning give your drawing a more professional look so you should try it learn from your favorite artist I already made two videos where I'm trying to learn from two of my favorite artists so you can see that and learn yourself. Our two bonus tips, good shape language. If you have seen and observed famous artists, you may have noticed their amazing shape language in their art like everything is just so pointy and crispy and angle. It looks so good and professional. The most common shape they use is triangle. You can find it here, here and everywhere. Try it out. Our 7 tip perspective and composition. So, perspective and composition is a big topic and it needs a detailed video, so I will cover it up in some other video. But in summary, if I tell you, you can say perspective means the way you look at something like see here the dimensions and far and front view everything has been taken into consideration when making nothing was treated as not important in easy word is what angle and distance you are seeing a certain object environment or human mean perspective and this is what a composition mean i don't get how to explain you this it's uh, how you can arrange things so that it's easy to look or it's appealing to look i will make a different video on covering this topic because these are really important so these are some points that I want you to keep in mind when learning and if you wanna get better in art soon or you will always stuck at it and one of the most important thing is practice. You gotta practice as much as you can. If you have passion for drawing you gotta give it your all and yeah I wish you luck and with this I'll see you in the next video. Till then take care and bye bye.